Dee, 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 dee. Hi folks. Happy Friday the 30th of July. Welcome. Yeah, he caught me here. Kind of experimenting a bit. Well, what I'm actually doing is I am doing some uh, various decorations on these um, tumblers using white slip and um, these are done in different ways either using brushes regular brushes when I say regular I mean like this this kind of brush so this kind of decoration is applied like this and you can um, take your cheapo brush and you can you can cut out bits of it to make it a bit more jagged looking it's because we we like a little bit of air space between the the bristles you know to give to give a little bit of variation you know sort of random yeah so that's that what I'm actually doing right now so I just got a few more to do here uh, these are at the stage now they've been thumbed off they've been sealed and they are at an ideal time to apply white slip okay I like to sort of do it what I would describe as on the dry side of leather hard you know you see this one here it's just sort of going a little a little white but it's still not dry you know that's the sort of time I I sort of think of it as a good time to do it yeah you know you could do it when it's a little damper as well I guess just bear in mind that when you touch the pot with the hackamy if it's on the dry side <clears throat> the 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 hackamy slip will tend to dry quicker so so what I was doing was just here I was um, so I was experimenting with a piece of foam because these ones or well this one I think I yeah I did it did it with a piece of a piece of foam <clears throat> in fact it was that piece so dip it in the so why don't I do one of those and then I'll then I'll I'll do the carry on with the other experiment that I was trying to do. It's basically just uh, uh, getting a piece of foam into the right shape, and how you go about doing that. So, so this is the white slip I'm using. It's basically it's some porcelain clay that I had left over. And I've added about 15% felspar to it. All right, so here's a. Hope you can see that. And where's the one? I'm just going to take this and I'm going to apply. Apply the. Ugh, apply it to the floor. <laughs> Right, so, okay, so I'm putting this on its side, so it's like a, a, like a diamond, you know, there it is, once, once, twice, let's bring it up so you can see it, and three times, okay, like that, and then once, twice, Three times. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. Uh, 
You want to do these in a slightly casual way, yeah? Don't be too precise. Yeah, like you're going for a walk in the park, you know, just... Okay, I think we can get two more. There. So basically you see how I'm using how I'm using the sponge technique to to apply the hackamy. Alright? Okay, so that's one. Let's uh uh where is that? Okay, let's let's take another one. Let's take this brush this time and I'll, I'll show you how I how I use this. By the way, if you're going to use slip on a brush, just damp the brush before you do, okay? You haven't got to make it sopping wet, but just damp it because being dry, the slip will stick to the brush and become very heavy. I'll give this a little stir. Okay, let's do some more of those, that wavy design. Are we in the picture? Right, so the thing about doing this kind of thing is don't be too hesitant. You see the gaps in the brushes there, a few of the gaps. So we're just going to once, twice. So now I'm going dead opposite. Do, 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 do. And like that. And now we're going to turn it upside down. And now we're going to do going the other way. Like that. So you see you got a bit of a wave going on there. A bit of wave. Okay. Next. Next, yeah, next what I was gonna do was what I was gonna attempt to do anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna be successful. We will see. Right. So I used this um, this foam. You might say, "Well, Simon, where do you get that foam from?" So I'll show you what it is. It comes in a pack like that. So I just chop it off and use it as much as I need. Okay. Sorry folks, walking in front of the camera, it's very rude, but... <sighs> right, so how I'm going to do this, I was actually wanting to, to try to go for a sort of circular... So I've got my gas here, my gas torch. You see my torch down there? Yeah, and I've got a nail here. I'm going to hold the nail with a pair of pliers. And I'm going to heat this up and then I'm going to use the hot nail to <laughs> a 
put a pattern in here. I was originally thinking I was, I was going to try and get it to go round, but I don't know if I'll be successful. Let's give it a try. So, holding it in the... Let me in the picture. Alright, so, I'm holding the nail there. Now you don't have to get it red hot. But heat it up good and proper. Now when you do this, hold your breath, all right? Because we don't want to inhale. Taking the breath away from ah, that ain't going to work. All right. I was too too heavy-handed with it, and it's it's not going to work. I'm going to do a different design. It's going to take this, and I'm just going to put some. Alright, you've seen what I've done. Take a breath away. Just to blow some of that. That's better. Right, it's going to take this. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. So again, as I said, just give it a wet. Just damp it a bit before you put it in the... Right, are we in a picture? Are we in the picture here? So I don't know what this is going to come out like. Obviously, because this is the first time. <laughs> but we're just going to, I'm, I'm going to hit it in a random sort of way. Oh, okay. So there, you see, and now I'll, I'll put it going like that. Oh, and now like that. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like teeth. Looks like teeth, Simon. Well, let's hang on. Let's, this time we'll go the other way, like this. And then like that. And then, and then like that. So, you know, there's lots of things you can do. You'd be creative, you see. Um, like this. And uh, it's got to go that way. Whoa, that's a funny decoration. I know, it is a bit. It's a bit of fun. 
Ti 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 uh, sideways there. And now vertically again. I think I'm getting confused here with my decoration, but anyway. No one will even notice. Oh, I should have thought about that. I've now got, I now got a, not very good there. Not so good there, we didn't, we didn't, but there you go, you see. If you, if that sort of thing happens, you know, when you're decorating and you come round to the other side and then you find, oh my gosh, look, I didn't, I didn't space it out well enough. Don't panic, okay? It's a handmade pot. Always leave room for the maker's hand, okay? It just, you know, it's, it's not something we need to get upset about. It's just, you know, we're not perfect, are we? But that's, but that's why we like making handmade pots, because we're not perfect. Let's do another, let's do, let's do something different. Let's do, uh, how about some grass, a bit of grass. Or we could do some grass and some... Hmm. Grass, grass, yeah, we'll just do grass. When you use a brush, when you start, just try to follow through. D don't be hesitant, you know. Don't worry if it doesn't go exactly as you, you know, it, 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 it's the nature of the beast. It won't, it won't go exactly as you think, as you want necessarily every time. But you know, it's like a blade of grass out there in nature. They're not all the same, are they? Gosh, that'd be rather boring, wouldn't it, if they were all the same? All bending at the same angle. Okay, so you see now the uh, the jagged, jaggedness of the brush, how it leaves these holes. So basically what we're doing with this kind of decoration, this hackamy, this white slip, is what we're doing is sort of forming like a background. And we're going to come along, when, when these are glazed on the inside and then over the outside here I'll put a transparent glaze and then do an iron decoration you know like a leaf or a flower or something like that which will be set against this as a background as a backdrop all right that's that's the thoughts well at least that's how i think about doing this yeah let's do one more let's do one more how should we do this one i actually had an idea but i haven't yet done it you know these um these uh, cinnamon <laughs> Still smells of cinnamon. These cinnamon things from Christmas time make actually ideal hackamy uh, brushes where you know you would you would put some hackamy slip on and then you would use this to drag through it. Well, I have, I do have one actually that I made up myself like that, similar. It's it's, it's this guy. So you've got here, you've got the bit of the brush softer brush and then you've got the coarser bristles so basically you're going to use 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 this and then a apply the, the the slip and then the bristles come behind it you see and scratch through let's see if we can make that one work just damp it a little bit
Yep, we'll see what we can do. I might make a right pig's ear out of this one. Who's, who knows? Um, yeah, da, da, da. Just trying to sort of visualise in my mind what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here. All right, let's go with that. Just trying to, you know, you know, the point where you scratch through with bristles. Sometimes, if it's not quite, if it's not quite. Uh, uh, let's just try actually. Let's just, just try something different in a minute. Let's just. All right, so we're going to go there. So I've applied it. Now I'm going to take this guy. <laughs> I'm going to scratch through. Yeah. Sometimes things don't always just work out exactly as you as you think, as you want, or maybe there you have a surprise, you know. Yeah, I've never used this before, so it was a bit stiff, this guy. It didn't have much sort of flexibility to it. So it did turn out a bit of a pig's ear. Maybe, maybe not. All right. The thing is, the key thing is be experimental and and then experiment get to know your get to know your your tools these are all these are all tools that we're using different kinds of tools whether it be bits of sponge whatever you know they they they're tools Legs, legs. Nice legs, Simon, nice legs. Yeah, I like the thought of them trying to meet up, you know. It's not that I do it on purpose. I'm feeling very pleased with myself. I just caught a mouse in the house. It's actually a shrew. It's been terrorizing us for months. Shrew comes out, eats the cat's food, goes to the cat's bowl and disappears again. I tried to catch it with a, a device I concocted but he was too clever. He escaped. But I got him this time with a couple of pottery wear boards. I trapped him. He came out to the cat's food bowl and when he went past a certain point, I pushed it and I trapped him in, in like an, an enclosure, you know. And um, I wore some gloves. Because shrews are pretty shrewd. <laughs> No, actually shrews, a shrew has a poisonous bite. Uh, that's why cats don't generally, they'll catch them, but they won't eat them. Yeah, anyway, I got the, got the so-and-so, took him out and released him in the cornfield. That thing's been going through the house. Anyway, look here, here's some legs. See what, you see how I did them? I did them a bit different than that other one. But uh, the thing is, experiment and get to a place where you think you've got something that you like, you like and you're happy with, you see? That's the thing. All right, have a go.
cut up some old sponges. Take a nail, take a torch, just sort of burn it a bit. You know, it, it's very difficult to cut foam like this. The only way to get it as you want it is to sort of melt it with a nail. And then you can, but even then, you know, you've got to be careful because the nail makes it, it melts more than you want. But um, have a go at doing that. Have a go at using a, uh, a stiff broom brush or one of these. Or, or get one of these, some brushes like this and cut them so that, you know, and then you can use them. Another thing I saw the other day, which I haven't really, was this. It's, uh, it's one of these kind of guys. I just thought there might be a, a use for that. I did try it, but I wasn't very really successful with it. This thing has got like a reservoir here. You, you put in, fill it up with, with stuff, you see. I don't think it's actually meant for clay. I think it's for something else. Maybe something in the kitchen. Uh, yeah. All right, there you go. Uh, what can I say? Yes. Um, pottery wheel over there we're taking orders I'm still I'm still got a little bit of a window my carpenter has gone away for a little while for a couple of weeks he says actually we're still okay till about the mid August so if anybody's still interested in a leech treadle wheel give us a shout and uh, get your order in yeah yeah, a little flan dish here on the top, which was thinking about doing some more of those. All right, folks. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. <laughs> hey, keep practicing. I'll see you in the next video. And you follow along with me with these... Uh, these these guys that I'm doing, I'll be glazing them soon and decorating and we'll be packing them in the kiln and firing them and you'll be able to see. Alright, take care. Bye bye now.